Hello everyone, here's your weather hazard briefing for Saturday, May 21st. We continue with cooler temperatures across the region all the way through. It looks like uh, the early part of next week. We'll start a little bit of warm up Monday and Tuesday, but still running below normal below average through that point we do have some rain and snow showers continuing and we do have a couple of storm systems moving through the region there will be some afternoon thunderstorms as well it does look drier still for the middle of the week with 70s and 80s for our lowest elevations but that quickly reverts back to wet and cool conditions by the time till we get to friday at the earliest but certainly over the memorial day weekend into memorial day itself it's looked like we're returning to wet and cooler conditions conditions across not only Idaho, but a good chunk of the uh, northwestern United States. Satellite this morning, we have one area of low pressure to our west still. The one that was over us has moved on to the east, but we do have some showers that have been kind of hanging around the central mountains, back down into portions of the Treasure Valley overnight, and rain and snow showers will continue, and this will be the concentrated area, or at least one of the concentrated areas today that we'll continue to see a precipitation falling across the area. Our highlighted areas for impacts will be across the Snake Plain and Magic Valley the next couple of days. We still had a little bit of a northerly breeze, especially once you get out into the Snake Plain. Uh, otherwise, maybe a few showers and storms up towards Idaho Falls and Rexburg. But the main impacts for these areas will be uh, the cool conditions. Uh, some places will see a pretty good chance of a frost or even uh, at or below freezing temperatures. Otherwise, showers and storms at times all the way through Tuesday, Wednesday does look dry across the board. Where we are going to be today with that precipitation, I mentioned a while ago that we were talking about showers over the central mountains this morning. That will continue, and by the time we get into early afternoon, some of those showers will be spreading along the Montana border with that area of low pressure still to our west. Uh, it looks like through the afternoon hours, there might be a few showers or a couple of storms popping up over uh, the lower Snake Plain right along the benches down into the South Hills and the Southeast Highlands, but the concentration will be across the Central Mountains back over through the Island Park area and the Centennials into this afternoon and evening. So we go into the overnight hours. We lose a lot of precipitation. I would say there'll probably be still a few light sprinkles or even some flurries around overnight. But with the next storm approaching, an increase in showers again over the Central Mountains overnight into tomorrow. You'll notice as that low moves in, showers and thunderstorms will increase across the entire region. And I suspect we'll probably see with this pattern also what we call, you know, grapple. the little soft hail that falls with some of these uh, showers and thunderstorms as we get into the spring season. Also, when we're going from uh, summer through the fall into the winter as well. So that'll certainly be an issue, I think, especially for tomorrow. Forecast-wise for today... It's not going to warm up a bunch, a little bit warmer than yesterday in a few spots. Some lower 60s once you get into the Magic Valley, the Treasure Valley, also down as you get towards the Utah border. Uh, 40s and 50s still expected in the high country. Talking about those cold temperatures in the morning, it'll be a little bit warmer than this morning, but still some pockets of frost and maybe uh, even a little bit of uh, a light freeze in some areas. Still in the teens and 20s if you're heading up to the mountains over the weekend. Monday morning, not much of a difference temperature-wise there as well. So these are a little bit out of order, but you saw what it's going to look like as we go into Monday morning. Still some pockets of frost and freeze. For tomorrow afternoon, we continue to warm up just a little bit, a degree or two across the board. Going into Monday, another bump of a couple of degrees across the area, still with some showers and a few thunderstorms across the region. Now, looking at the snow that's going to fall, it's going to be some very light snow. There will probably be some pockets over the central mountains up on the higher ridges and peaks we might see over four inches. But again, this is not all at once. This is all the way through Monday, so kind of spread that out a little bit as we go through time. But that's moisture that in the, is needed up in the high country. Looking at precipitation, whether you're looking at pure rain or taking that snow and melting it down to, uh, to water anyway, not a lot of precipitation over the next two or three days in terms of higher amounts, a few spots over a tenth. Up over Lemhi County, uh, also up along the Montana border, we might see a, a few spots seeing over a quarter of an inch of precipitation. Again, that's today all the way through Monday evening. 
going to Tuesday. We keep warming it up, but it's slow to warm up. We still have another wave coming through Tuesday for another increase in showers and thunderstorms. Therefore, it's not warming up that much on Tuesday. But you get over towards uh, the Magic Valley and the Treasure Valley, some places pushing towards 70 degrees. But we get into Wednesday, plenty of 60s and 70s across the lower elevations. As we go into Thursday, we're still talking about the potential of it reaching 80 degrees, and that's a very good bet across a good chunk of the Snake Plain in the Magic Valley, down into uh, the South Hills, the Albion Mountains, down towards Preston, also uh, down towards Lava and McCammon. Also from uh, Chalice up through Salmon, Lador up into the Salmon Breaks, some of those folks, uh, looks like we will definitely reach 80 degrees on Thursday. The potential of it getting above 90 has gone down quite a bit. It wasn't very high in the first place looking at yesterday. It was about 15 to 25 percent. Now in most areas down from Pocatello westward, it's 10 to 20 percent until you get into the Treasure Valley. You get to Glens Ferry, Mountain Home over to Boise, and it does look like there's a better chance of hitting 90 degrees. So again, it's going to be cool and showery over the weekend with a few thunderstorms. But the middle of next week, this cool and showery regime Continues really through the weekend. We get of a break Monday, picks up again Tuesday, but Wednesday and Thursday, we're talking 70s and 80s for our lower elevations. But if we turn right around and go back to wet and cooler as early as Friday, but certainly over the weekend itself, Sunday, Saturday, Sunday, into Memorial Day, it does look wet and cooler again across our area. Have a great day. Have a great weekend. Stay safe, safe everyone.